In this section, we will go over how to check for fractured limbs and apply a stent. Check the casualty for fractures, broken bones. Here are some of the signs and symptoms of a fractured limb. Part of the fractured bone may stick to the skin. The casualty may have pain, tenderness, swelling, and or bruising at the particular location. The site of the tenderness or bruise is probably the site of the fracture. One arm or leg may appear to be shorter than the other. The casualty may have difficulty in moving an arm or leg. The casualty has massive injury to an arm or leg. The casualty may have heard a snapping sound at the time of the injury. You will now want to splint any fractured limbs using available materials. If available, a universal malleable splint may be used to splint an arm, forearm, or lower leg. Two rigid objects, such as a straight tree limbs, boards, or tent poles may be used to splint the fractured limb. Applying a splint to a leg. Push the securing materials under the natural body curvatures, such as the knees. Then gently move the securing materials up or down the limb until they are in proper position. If possible, place at least two cravats above the fracture site and two below the fracture site. Place the rigid object so that one is on each side of the injured leg or thigh. When possible, position the rigid object so the joint above the fracture and the joint below the fracture will be immobilized. If the fracture is the lower leg, for example, the splint should extend above the knee and below the ankle. If the fracture is in the thigh, the splint should extend above the hip and below the ankle.